Good day, learners, and welcome to another lesson in Philippine history and government. For today's discussion, we are going to discuss about Ramon Magsaysay. Ramon Del Fierro Magsaysay Sr. was born on August 31, 1907 and died on March 17, 1957. He was a Filipino statesman who served as the 7th President of the Philippines. Magsaysay was appointed military governor of Zambales after his outstanding service as a guerrilla leader during the Pacific War. He then served two terms as a Liberal Party congressman for Zambales at large district before being appointed Secretary of National Defense by President Elpidio Quirino. He was elected president under the banner of the Nationalista Party. He was the first Philippine president born in the 20th century and the first to be born after the Spanish colonial era. Presidential election of 1953. This was the first time that an elected Philippine president did not come from the Senate. Moreover, Magsaysay began the practice in the Philippines of campaign jingles during elections for one of his inclinations and hobbies was dancing. Presidential elections were held on November 10, 1953 in the Philippines. Incumbent President Elpidio Carino lost his opportunity for a second full term as President of the Philippines to former Defense Secretary Magsaysay. His running mate, Senator Jose Yulo, lost to Senator Carlos P. Garcia. Vice President Fernando Lopez did not run for re-election. Ramon Magsaysay Presidency In the election of 1953, Magsaysay was decisively elected president over the incumbent Elpidio Carino. He was sworn into office wearing the Barong Tagalog, a first by a Philippine president. He was then called Mambo Magsaysay. During his term, he made Malacanang literally a house of the people, opening its gates to the public. Magsaysay's administration was considered one of the cleanest and most corruption-free in modern Philippine history. His rule is often cited as the Philippines' golden years. Trade and industry flourished. The Philippine military was at its prime and the country gained international recognition in sports, culture, and foreign affairs. The Philippines placed second on a ranking of Asia's clean and well-governed countries. Death of Magsaysay Magsaysay's term, which was to end on December 30, 1957, was cut short by a plane crash. On March 16, 1957, Magsaysay left Manila for Cebu City, where he spoke at three educational institutions. That same night, at about 1 a.m., he boarded a presidential plane Mount Pinatubo, a C-47, heading back to Manila. In the early morning hours of March 17, the plane was reported missing. And by late afternoon, newspapers had reported the airplane had crashed on Mount Manungal in Cebu, and that 36 of the 56 aboard were killed. The actual number on board was 25, including Magsaysay. Only newspaper man, Nestor Mata, survived. Vice President Carlos P. Garcia, who was on an official visit to Australia at that time, returned to Manila and acceded to the presidency to serve out the remaining eight months of Magsaysay's term. An estimated 2 million people attended Magsaysay's state funeral on March 22, 1957. He was posthumously referred to as the champion of the masses and defender of democracy. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!